How to cut your own hair straight For more precision you can cut your hair dry if you want but I always recommend making it a little bit damp for better control. You want to comb your hair really well before you start and for option number one you want to tie your hair in a low ponytail. Take another elastic and tie it a few inches from the first one. Repeat the same step with a third elastic and now take your scissors and using your fingers as a guide you're going to cut a straight line. Release your hair and as you can see this haircut looks a little rounder from the back but if you bring your hair to the front it looks straight. Now let's move on to the second option. You want to part your hair down the middle and bring the two sections together at the front. Tie them with a small elastic and using your fingers as a guide you want to cut a straight line. With this haircut, if we bring the hair to the front, it looks straight. And if we bring it to the back, it doesn't look as round as in the first option. If you want your hair to look completely straight when you bring it to the back, you need to take into account that the sections which are further away from your face need to be shorter. So you want to take your hair, bring it to one side like so, and cut your hair in a diagonal line instead of a straight line. If you're not 100% sure whether you're doing this correctly or not, this is how your hair should look like once you comb it. Let's do this one more time. You want to comb your hair, bring it to one side, and using your fingers as a guide, you're going to cut your hair in a diagonal line. What this cut is going to do is ensure that the sections at the back are a little shorter than the sections at the front. That way, when you bring your hair to the back, both the front and the back sections are going to look the same. Next up, I'm going to give you some advice on how to cut somebody else's hair. First of all, you're going to divide the hair in three sections and you're going to start working at the back layer by layer. Take your first thin layer and using your fingers as a guide, cut a straight line down the middle. Now you're going to take another section next to that one and cut another straight line. There are two important things you should bear in mind. First of all, your fingers are being used as a guideline. So to avoid messing up, you need to keep those as close to the person's back as possible. Another thing you have to bear in mind is that your layers should be thin enough so you can see where the previous layer was cut. This way you can use the first guideline you created to make your cut as sharp as possible. You can do some touch-ups this way and now we are going to move on to the front sections. Bring them to the sides right on top of the person's shoulders and you just need to work on that straight line little by little. And remember, to avoid messing up, all you need to do is keep your fingers next to the person's body. Once your haircut is completed, you want to blow dry your hair and straighten it. And if you see any imperfections, you can touch them up. As you can see, when you bring your hair to the back, it looks straight. And when you bring it to the front, it looks a little bit longer on the front. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on my website www.patrickjordan.com. Share the love with your friends and see you soon.